So, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game! We have just unlocked the Dinosuchus. That is another... Uh, I was going to say dinosaur, but it's not. I'll, I'll trigger some of you. You know you'll be the ones. Uh, well, we've unlocked another one of the limited creatures in the game. Hold on. Oh, whoa, what is that? Wait, that's a chaos theory. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Co-19. Send Owen. It's a load of rubbish. Right. So I've got something for free here. Oh, heck yeah. So what is going on in the world of uh, Beaver where he needs to move that so he can see to make sure he's recording his audio waveform. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yes. Uh, what is going on in Jurassic World the game? Well, I feel as though at the moment I've unlocked so many creatures because I was looking through. There was a time when I wasn't really playing this game too much and a bunch of tournament creatures came out relatively slowly and I was just missing them over and over and over again. Uh, look, look at my hair. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Uh, not that anyone cares about that. Uh, so let's have a look. What do I have left to still unlock? Because... I apparently have this Skeliodosaurus, but you can't really unlock that one because it's the Amber exclusive uh, one. I don't know about you. Right, okay, so I don't have the Sinosauropteryx. I don't have that one. Uh, but apart from that, oh, Koreanosaurus? I think that might be in a tournament. I think I missed that one. Either that or it was a limited in the VIP sort of thingy. Overraptor, well, yeah, that's it. Okay, Quetagen 2 and Tani Caligris. Tani Caligris is saying it's locked. It's only saying that because it's a VIP and there's no way to technically unlock it. You have to get them in packs, so they're always locked. Uh, Qu uh, Terra Quetzal, we're okay with, because uh, I think we have its its hybrid now. Do we have Pterosaur Gen 2? No, I don't. Ah, that's one I don't have. Okay, so if I have them, it doesn't say if it's locked. <laughs> always good, always good. But we have the Crocodilio. And I don't think it has any hybrid. I could be wrong. Yeah, so we, we're we doing really good so far on this. I think we're on 19,000. So we're just going to quickly claim all. Look at the amount of DNA. 820,000 of the DNA. That is so much. Hopefully, we're not in 3 FPS. I hope we're not in 3 FPS. If we are, I apologize greatly. Because I have checked this beforehand. It, 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 you know, everything's okay. You, you do it. You do everything the same way for so long, and then all of a sudden, something breaks. No, you haven't done anything different. It just breaks. It just breaks. And then it throws your whole reality into question. So I think I'm, I think I'm uploading this the day after, because I'm well, the day of recording, um, where we did the Camp Cretaceous theory, lettuce theory. Yeah, it was funny that one because I started out, I was like, oh, I'll make a joke out of it. Haha, <laughs> funny. And then I started putting more effort in and I was like, oh, wait, no, it's now it's not as funny. So I just left. I was like, ah, I'll do whatever. Oh, a red. We've got two reds. Have we got more to unlock? Oh, yeah, we've got loads. Okay, let's just claim more. Hopefully we don't get to the 12 packs because I want to save those. Yes, there's another one. Get in. Is there any more that I'm going to instant hatch? I don't think. Oh, yes, there is another one. <gasps> yes. Claim all. Keep going. 75 bucks. I have thousands. Absolutely thousands of bucks. I don't even know how this has happened. But I managed it. Oh yeah, I noticed why the VIP points go weird. Like they go 9999 for a second. That's because they're, they're getting confused between the uh, amber. So they're like, oh wait, no, we're not that amber. And it changes back down. So yeah, the next ones, we'll just, we'll just claim these manually because I don't want to claim all of those. We've got a red, ready to hatch. We've got 4,000 amber. And then we've got the final season chance with some extra special spicy red DNA. Hot tamale. It says claim. Although I've already claimed it, so we'll ignore that. And then we've got 12 packs, which you don't really need to worry about because I think I've got, yeah, I've got, we've got three days left. Now, unfortunately, I have, well, I say unfortunately, I've got eight of the instant fusions to use, which is good. But at the same time, I should have had more because it was seven out of eight and it was like a couple of hours. I was like, oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll just speed something up. And then I just completely forgot. And then I wasted seven. But, but hey, oh, it's better than what well, the alternative, which would have been just to waste loads. 
or not to waste any of them at all. So yes, we need to get our food back up. I'm hoping, I really am hoping, because I, I don't think I've got any uh, apatosaurus. No, I don't, okay. I'm hoping that they're going to introduce some hybrids soon. I mean, uh, now I've watched the camp, not camp Cretaceous, the Chaos Theory season, there may be a possibility that we'll get the the blind Baryonyx, the daredevil Baryonyx from that season. I I don't think it'll be in Jurassic World Evolution 2 because they've basically stopped development of Jurassic World Evolution 2. I'm pretty sure. They're working on the third one now. They're working on Jurassic World Evolution 3. Which I still can't believe they're doing. You know, I've, I've grown up on a time where games, when they released a new one, it was like a completely different game. Very rarely was it the same game, a little bit better graphics and, you know, more enemies or whatever. Whereas Jurassic World Evolution 2 was basically the same game, but they added more stuff to it. Like, graphics-wise, there's not a great deal in it, I've got to admit. Because they're using the same engine. Oh, oh, I did it all. None of them messed up on me. Normally, if I do trades like that... Oh, sorry, I put loads of things into storage. And I do it too quickly, my game crashes. But normally, that's if I'm too far away from my, my, my Wi-Fi router. But I must be close enough now. Okay, so, yep, I've still got... Uh, oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, there they are. They're, they're still going, so that's good. And f accidentally, I put in a Megalosaur into the... Into the first one. It's because I clicked on, like, get dino, and then I did some other things, and then clicked it, and then it just put it in the instant slot, which is very stupid. I didn't want that to do it. So we've got three instant hatches. I don't think we have. Let's have a look. I don't think we have the dino sucus hatched at all. Gripo? There's Gripo. Are we doing this again? No, no, hold on, I do. <gasps> Ooh! I have a, basically a level 20, level 10, and then I've got a free one now, so that's a level 30 done. Ooh, we could! You know what? We'll get a level 40 Dinosuchus in this video, because I love you. Look at that, level 10 for 20,000 bucks. <laughs> Very funny game! So it looks like no matter what dinosaur you want, they will give you you know, a level 10, but they charge you out the wazoo. However, however, if we, you know, close all this and uh, send Owen to do the busy work. Come on, Owen, man. If you have this and you want to search for one. Oh, no. 8,000 and... F Are you kidding me? I could just buy one, speed it up, and there's no way that's costing me 8,500 bucks. Okay, that's messed up. Maybe I was wrong uh, with them doing deals for the unlocking because I thought every creature that you clicked on here would give you a, a, a bu you know, bucks off or a sale off, but apparently not. So, we are going to probably, we're going to have to use this one, I suppose, because it's 10 bucks and I'm not speeding up the other guy. And we'll do an instant hatch because it's a tournament creature. Wait, what? Why is it saying it's in there? Is it in there? Is it in here? Oh my god, it is! No! Put him out. There we go. Woohoo! Uh, instant fuse. Yes. Heck yeah. If we can save on bucks, I will. Let's get you to level 40, dude. Now, you are a tournament creature. You're not going to be the best thing in the world because they never are. Vi it, you know, VIP creatures are the best things without hybrids. There's, n there's no way you could beat that. Tournament, tournament creatures are... They're on par with like a level... A good level 40 legendary, I would say. So, the Dinosuchus seems to have been an opportunist predator, eating almost everything it could sink its giant teeth into. Is that opportunistic or just very adept? I would say, no, I'm not really a fan of the skin colors on that guy. Oh god, what we got? What we got? Anything good? Too anything? Eh, eh. We've also got this guy. I don't think I have this one. What are you? The Gigantophorphophophos. Again, it's a Cenozoic creature. Now, I did do a survey on this. I noticed that, that in the news, it said, fill in the survey, takes five minutes. Lies, it took more than five minutes, but that's beside the point. The main thing that was in the survey were they were asking about what you wanted in the game. And what I noticed they asked about wasn't too much land creatures. They asked about the aquatics and they asked about Cenozoic creatures. And what I found very telling was one of the answers 
it was like, oh, what, what do you want to see more of in future? Or what kind of things would you like to see to the game? And you know what one of the options was? Aquatic fights with land. And I was like, oh my god, someone, someone at Jam City, Ludia, whatever, has listened to my videos and went, they really, he really liked that, didn't he? Maybe we should. I don't know. Maybe we should just put it in. <laughs> It'd be cool if it was an Easter egg. That's what I mean. Fill your game with hidden things. You saw, remember Club Penguin? I don't know if everyone remembers Club Penguin. But there was a, there was a, a game myth that you could flip the iceberg if everyone went to one side and drilled and whatever. And it, it wasn't a thing, but it just got spread around. And eventually, by the end of the game's life cycle, they put it in. So that if anyone did it and had the drill or whatever they could do. Now, that's what this game needs. It needs people who know how to get aquatics to fight uh, lands. Even if it was as glitchy as it was last time, where you just had Indominus Rex underwater and be like, ah, that was cool. And it gave me a reason to use my aquatics. Now, doing it in a more official stance would be good. I'm not going to lie. Now, what was I doing here? That's right, Glacier, Cenozoic. I wanted to see if I actually had that snake. Please tell me I have the snake. Do I have the Giga Google Whatever it was. There's not too many snakes. There he is. Now, do I have it unlocked though? I have three of them. Yes, I have it very unlocked. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Uh, let's just hatch more of those guys then, the amphibios. Amphibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibib
instant fuse and then we've got one more fusion after this to take us to the level 40 instant fuse there it is oh he's got a little mohawk bam and there it is let's see it eat watch it hunt um, yum, 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 yum. weird thing is oh it does actually have a shadow but it's re it's really light the shadow should be way darker or the exposure on the creature, like the, the dark color, shouldn't be that dark. <laughs> okay. Well, sure, let's get to level 40. 3,560 health and 599 attack. Ah, it's been a long time since I've said that. All right, okay, so we get some books back. Dinosuchus's teeth marks have been found in Albertosaurus and Apalchiosaurus bones, proving that it even hunted living Tyrannosaurus. I mean, well, it was a smaller Tyrannosaur, I suppose, but hey-ho. Well, there it is. I keep doing that. I'm sorry. I'm flashing you with things all the time. So we have this. This is the newest battle. Now, where does it stack? Because the latest tournament to unlock that creature was all amphibians. So my amphibians are all used, which is good because we don't need them. Look at the... Oh, interruptor, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Yes, where are you guys? Where are you? You're not going to be up with the hybrids. You are not going to be up with level 30s. Look at that level 10. Is it not up with level 10? Oh my god. Level 10 super hybrids. Rare super hybrids. Still not up there. Oh, he's so weak. Oh, bless him. Oh, wait. He's not the weakest. Although Stegosaur Gen 2 is there. Uh, but it's only level 32. Wow. Dinosuchus. What you like. Okay. But anyway, let's see. I love this Simoria. The, uh, the eyes on it and the way it looks. Very snake-like. Very reptilian. So we want flyers. Basically, we want flyers. Let's have a look what we got. Uh, there... Now, there is supposed to be, actually, a hybrid coming soon. Or at least it it was shown in the same as Scorpius Rex Gen 2. The flying hybrid that would give Metrophodon a run for its money. So... Now, if I put Metrophodon out first, it'll switch to Velociraptor. And I have to go... I have to go for a block. Because Velociraptor can kill me in one hit and it'll switch and then attack, maybe. And it's not worth the risk. So I need to have more than 7,000 health. So I need Zalmonodon. Then I need a good Amphibian. However, they're all used. So I'm going to have to go with a good Carnivore, like Indoraptor. And then we'll go back to Metrophodon. Just to finish off the other two. Ah. Oh. I mean, look at the health. 23,000, 19,000, 25,000. This... I am very underpowered, but let's go. Let's go. We're having to play this smart. Having to play this smart. So because I can survive one hit, I can go for a reserve. Which is good. Oh, it actually doesn't swap out. Whoa. Okay, so now I'll go for one block and two reserve. Just in case. Yeah, he could have reserved there. And he would have swapped. And actually, I would have died if he did swap and went for an attack. Okay. Whoa. All right, all right. Steady now. we we'll go for that. Oh, it goes for a block again. Oh, we're, we're perfect. Are you going to swap yet? Why are you not swapping? Velociraptor is way better. I love the way this looks. Okay, well, it's dead. So one, two, three, four kills it. And then I can go for three reserve. Wow. It looks so cool. No, don't turn away. I love his little spikes as well. His little, little troublemaker. All right, Velociraptor, please go for four. You have to. Yeah, there it is. The lovely explorer patterns on that guy. Gorgeous. Interruptor comes out at level 40. All right, so you should be able to kill it. There it is. And um, that's it. Done and done. Did we really need Metrophodon? No, but I had no idea the battle was going to go this way. They could have they could have easy swapped in Velociraptor, done what I predicted. That was the safest play for it. But it didn't. Orthorapsis. No, Indoraptor dead. Come on, Metrophodon. Right. Now, we could. how much damage can we do here? Oh, oh, oh. 157,000 would be the most it does, but it does block for two. So, there you Well done. Well done, Metrophodon. Loads of that. 157,000 down to 94,000. Almost a drop of, well, 60,000 there. In two attacks, 60,000, 30,000 each. Just shows you the difference of the multiply when it starts adding. So there we go. Some, well, not guaranteed books, but we did, in fact, get Buckaroonies.
All right, and there it is. We don't need to worry about that. Anything else we've got going on? There really is. I mean, the, the common, this is all right. I don't mind this one. We'll do that. And this, these battles are super quick. It's literally two turns. Like, kill one, wait for, wait for them to do something, and then just go for two. And hopefully, they've either attacked me or went for reserve, or at least one reserve. And, you know, just to, just to be a pain in the ass, they, they, they go for two block. But again, like I said, it's super quick because they can't do anything now. Even if they block for two, uh, they would die. So having something that can kill all of them in one hit guarantees, guarantees that your battles will last no longer than three turns. And if you, it's really good because you get a pack, you get VIP points, and you get towards the Shake the Earth. I think it is. You got Frightful Fangs, which is... <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that's a good pack. I mean, no books, but what's the... Uh... Oh, carnivores. Only carnivores and you put amphibians in. I do want another Alangasaur. Because if I get one to level 30... We've got hybrids as well. Where is it, Alangasaur? There you are. There you are, my beauty. Put you in. And you are t only 26. Oh, I only need two of these guys. We we'll do it. This guy. I think was in my top 10. Really freaking good. Really freaking good. Deserves to be in here. It, gar it basically gar guarantees you a pack. If you had three of these at level 30, you're balling. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not speeding. <laughs> Waste an instant uh, hatchy for that. Hatchy bachi. No, 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 no. I think we need a level 20, uh, 30, sorry. So we will just speed this up. Activate. Yep, nope. Don't care. I will happily chill out. 47 to 94. Okay, more. More. More bucks. Over 130 bucks. That's fine. Don't mind that. I'd rather save my instant fusion for something that's actually needed. And there we go. Level 30. Beautiful. And oh, 36 of the, uh, the the orange one. And ooh, got me an extra pack. Beautiful. Oh, two extra packs. What? I was going to say, don't say it's going to be three. Right, now we can go back in, do this, and yeah, that's guaranteed me. Hopefully the last one will be... I mean, they never use amphibians. You're only against the Utah Raptor or Hatsugopteryx in these battles. That's all you ever face. Now, what would be interesting, because they always limit it, or they average it out to whatever your overall dinosaur roster is when it comes to Battle Stage Infinites and stuff, right? So it'd be interesting if you you got, it averaged your, your level of dinosaurs, and then you leveled up something really high, and it got really easy, but obviously the next one, they would re-average it, and you just kept doing that and doing that. But obviously, I can't. It doesn't matter if I get a level 40 Indoraptor. The battles are still going to be super hard. And no! Oh, that's a bugger, isn't it? Damn. See, three level 30 Alangosauruses. I should sell all of these, but you, there's no point selling a dinosaur at this point in the game because of the way the trade harbors are. If you're selling a dinosaur in the game, you're doing something wrong because you never know when a new creature is going to come out and be unlockable in the uh, in the, the big boat trade hub. In the cargo ship. Well, I think this has been four rounds, is it? One, two, three. I think that was the fourth round there. If it was a lango, might have been too. But there you go, some food, which is really needed, especially when we're getting these massive hybrids with the, the Caprasuchus. It's like Capris, Caprasuchus Gen 2 hybrid with something else, and it's a fly, and that thing looks beastly. So we'll get that. Of course, you get uh, boss DNA. Now, do I have any super hybrids? Well, I, don't, I didn't want to make it uh, carnivores there. Hold on. I don't even know how much I have. I do want Nindoraptor, of course. I've got all of these guys, which are good. Oh, I do. Oh my God, I got loads. Yes, I want to put it in there. So we've got Nindoraptor there. Let's put in another Nindoraptor, because I think I got more. Yeah, I... <gasps> Whoa, I got... I had like 6,000. I just haven't been spending this in so long. Wow. Okay, uh, another super hybrid. Uh, put you into the 10. Boom! Look at that. Check them apples. Now, maybe I should have waited a day and put them in there. But three more Indoraptors coming to the team. Really going to help me when it comes to the tournaments. That's three battles. That's, what, 30, 60, 90 cups? When you consider... It's basically 100 cups. And how how many battles... How many cups do you need to do a tournament normally? About 1,000. About 1,200 cups-ish. 
So that's already 10% of my battles covered there. We'll also spend, we may as well, may as well. Let's have a look. We'll do Jurassic because Jurassic are the ones that are important at the moment. Although really you should probably level up everything, but I, I, who cares? What's going to take ages? Borea Pelter. Oh, you know what it is? Let's go into the Amber Market. So, 120,000. Oh, 20% off. Ooh, interesting. So we've only got 20 days, apparently, to get the Skeldiosaurus. And it's 150,000. But we've only got 20 days. That's that's weird. Why is it only the Giganotosaurus Gen 2 that's got a, a money off? Oh, it's because of the hybrid. That's right. It's because of Scorpius Rex Gen 2. That's why. Okay, well, you know what? We'll hatch it, put it in. It's six days. You never know. Maybe there'll be a hybrid come out that we need, but at least we've got one. You know, if we need to trade a level 10, we've got that covered. I should probably get one more, but I'll not fuse it just in case, because I don't want to end up wasting it. Look, we could get an Albertosaur for trading power after Kreethosaur and Nozutosaur. But is there a, is, is there a need for it? What is Albertosaur? Ah, oh, okay. It's a tournament creature. That actually might not be a bad trade. Level 30 Pyroraptor, Nazutoceratops, and something else for a tournament creature. Can I get another one? What? Okay, so 10,000. What? Uh, what? Excuse me, what? They don't know what they're doing anymore, do they? They're not even keeping an eye on it. <laughs> They've got... Everything has an instant level 10. And then I guess this must be an offer. Or we could spend 15 quig... Quig? What's a... That's the new uh, British currency. 15 quid, uh, quid for, for that. Interesting. Okay. Uh, you know, the 10,000 for level 30 is not bad. Now, oh, okay. So it's not worth it because I got level 40. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, there's no point. No point. I got level 40 Nazutoceratops, which is... An, it's basically two level 30s I'm throwing away. So no, there's no point me doing that. And you can do it 12 times if you wanted to. Ah, interesting. So Irritator. Do I have that? I do have Irritator. And I can buy it, so it is unlocked. Okay. So I could spend 6,900. Or I could spend thousands more on that. So it's not worth it. Not worth it in the slightest. So what else we've got? Earth Shattering, the Age of Mammals, even though it's a reptile for a prize. Okay. We'll do a PvP with our new Dinosuchus. Okay, please. There's a chance. There's a chance that it might be Cenozoic. Please don't be. Oh my god! Why is it his weakness? That's... Th that is so unfortunate. Oh my god. Um, I'm just gonna go for block. I could swap out, but I'm just throwing it away. I, I just want to tank a hit. If we kill it... Perfect. But I need it to... Yeah, okay. Oh, brilliant! Right. You only went for one. Okay, so this is probably the worst we can get. It's basically a 1v1. But... I'm going to put him in last, and I'm going to go for reserves. I'm going to die this turn, because it'll go for two. Yeah, it'll still go for two. Then I'll go for three reserve next turn, if not four reserve. And then Limalamalaman will die. At least then I can just throw all my attacks into, into the flyer. And then we can see it's victory animation. And this is the best. This arena is the best arena. At least we can guarantee getting it. But it would be nice to see it something else. Oh, you know what they need? You've got all the dinosaurs. Let us do something interesting with them. Please. A new arena. Let's see them in a new light. Put them put them on like the, the mountainside of Mount Cyber with the volcano erupting. That would be so cool. So cool. But obviously, for the board of directors at Jam City or Ludia, if you were to bring that up to them, they'd be like, okay. But how do we make money from that? <laughs> you know what I mean? If they put a new creature in, it could be like, oh, well, people will spend bucks to get the new creature, and there's a way to buy bucks. But you just put in a new uh, environment that would look really cool. I mean, you could have it that only a certain type of creatures can see it, and I think maybe that's what's happened in the past, because we have had that. We had the beach and the sunset, but that was only gyrosphere events. And that had a book entry. So I think... I think I've just guessed what happened there. And why we don't have any uh, different environments. Huh. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Uh, it's crashed. Everything crashed. Uh-oh. 
Oh no, please, please don't tell me I've wasted. Please don't tell me I've wasted the. Oh no. We gotta get a blue screen, guys! Whoa! Hi, I got it working! Never mind, I got it working. I'm, I'm cool, even though my whole computer froze and I got like a, a, basically a blue screen of death. I managed to recover the project, so that's what happens when you do this for a living and you encounter problems like that all the time. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye. <laughs>